What's going on there guys? Good afternoon once again. The Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with a quick update video on this uh, Wednesday. April 20th, 2022 date. Uh, got an earthquake coming in here to the Philippines area once again from a uh, rather large 6.0 earthquake. You can see it showing up there on some of the seismograph stations as well, indicating those S waves traveling across and through the earth. Go ahead and check out this latest data here on the map real quick. Stand by for just a quick second while I get this up and running. And there we go. Alrighty, so latest quake, a 6.0 earthquake on the map here across the Pacific into the Philippine Trench. Once again, this area did see a 6. Point, uh, oh, 6 .1 a couple days ago, I believe. 6.1 right there in the blue circle and prior to that quite a few fours and fives so this area is still very capable of producing a uh, pretty large earthquake uh, philippine trench is no stranger to large quakes and this one here makes uh, two six pointers in this area within a week time so quite a bit of uh, accumulated stress within this region looking at the uh, aftershock sequences here there's about 12 of them including those six pointers so uh, things are definitely getting uh, pretty crazy here around the Philippine Trench. This one was at 51.3 kilometers. I don't believe there's going to be any type of tsunami threat, but uh, you start getting up in the 7 magnitude range, you could see this uh, subduction zone type area create a uh, tsunami in that region. But for now, uh, nothing showing up on the map. We'll go ahead and double check that just in case. Uh, not seeing anything from the NOAA National Weather Service Tsunami Warning Center, so uh, at least for now anyway. Uh, aside from that, uh, let's see what else we got going on. Still quite a bit of uh, movement kicking up along the west coast as well, including a 3.0 that came in uh, in the Round Valley area. This is just south of Long Valley, the Long Valley Super Volcano. We have seen a swarm of movement here in the southern part of the state right right around the brawley seismic zone still quite a bit of pressure out here along the west coast so keep definitely keep an eye here on the movement that's taking place in southern cal right next to the uh, san andreas fault there uh doing a real quick recap of the solar weather activity uh, from the solarham.com website it still shows consistent sea flaring uh, from the sunspots uh, we did see a m flare kick up here a little bit earlier this morning uh, since then, just uh, pretty much borderline M flare, but consistent C flare uh, crackling, so to speak, there from the sunspots, which are now uh, at least these big ones starting to face Earth with some new development here around the bend. And uh, we'll see what's in store for the uh, for the coming uh, coming days, right, and this weekend as well. All right, guys. So for now, 6.0 earthquake in the Philippines area, right around where the 6.1 struck here. Just a couple days ago, Philippine Trench at 51.3 kilometers down into that zone. We'll chat you guys uh, a little bit later, folks. Have a good one.